Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we are watching, um, I think this is a Grand Prix. Let me check. Yeah, some kind of Grand Prix. Um, a Tesla versus um, Cisse, the former uh, Olympic champion. Um, a Tesla, I, I was uh, just kind of kind of going to watch this as a, you know, just a preview. Maybe this is a cover. Maybe we're not. I have not seen this fight yet, but I saw Tesla was fighting. I said, holy cow, I want to watch this. I watched this guy back in um, 2019, 2018, and this guy was a beast. Uh, I think I covered him once when he fought uh, Mohamed Cho in the U.S. Open. He has a crazy, crazy back kick. Uh, Turkey doing big things in the sport along with uh, Uzbekistan. So I really want to see this. I really want to see this match and how it throws down. Plus eight division. What's what's his ranking? Ba, 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 ba. Does it show? That's a Tesla. Did it just not give him a ranking when it came out? Rank 11. Okay. It's falling in the rankings a little bit. Still super high. Falling a little bit. From, you know, rank 9 to rank 11. I want to see this match. CSA, for you guys who don't know, CSA can kick a lot, large amounts of stamina, kind of just buried under the kicks. Um, Turkey, a little bit more in the strategy department, but then again, the rules have changed, so let's see where this goes. I, want, I need the British commentator down. Well, hold up. Hold. Okay, goes in for the punch. In the back of the head? What the heck? One more time. Boom. Holy cow. You guys should take this one. Don't don't even watch the rest of the video. Just take this and practice it. What the heck happened here? Just curled your toes straight back. Look, let's watch this at a half speed. Dude, I thought that I was going to have a good handle on everything happening in this match, and that is not the case. He kicked him underneath the armpit in the back of the head. That is nuts. All right. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. How do you even... If I was still fighting, I would definitely practice. That is that's pretty nice. Nice punch. Kick, kick, kick. You gotta kick. Oh, this is, I think, before this. This is the tournament just before the rule change. So, um, he would have needed to kick at the same time. Oh, nice. So, that was pretty good defense here. So, uh, CC just punched, right? One of the rules of thumb is unless you're about to do an adaptation, I would not recommend doing the same thing twice. Uh, Tesla um, is fast on the adjustment, sees that he's going for, he went for the punch first time, got the, got the, thing he's going in for a second time a tesla is waiting for it has the hook kick kind of ready neither score but i mean that the the idea to change your defense right away if you got hit you should know what the counter is and if they're if they try it again without a, a follow-up um you should definitely definitely punish them i just want to make sure that cc is not trying to do something else here he kind of disguises it um he disguises it behind a cut this time but you know, it's uh, it's Tesla knows sees it coming. Good counter. Goodbye, Tesla here to pressure. I like that. And the heavier weight divisions is not quite as much movement because guys are bigger. Okay, but this is a large punching battle going on. I don't feel so out of tune anymore. I used to punch a lot. For holding, maybe, maybe. Nice try. I do like I do like this. Um, notice he uses his fake motion. He gets a Tesla to bite a little bit, and then he uses the uh, he uses that same motion to start the next motion. So I uh, obviously Tesla's high level fighter. That's not a bad idea. If you um, in my mind I said throw some smoke, but I feel like that's not correct. If you get someone to fake out using one of those, you can definitely use that as a progression to start your next kick. Because if you fake once. And then you fake a second time, uh, less 
calibrated a more high, lower level fighter may think that's still a fake so that eats off some of the time that they're going to use to react because if you do this they react and they think this is the same thing then essentially in their mind the amount of time it takes you to do this is cut out from the time they have to react and then when your foot's on the way um, that's when they start reacting versus if they start reacting here you have that much less time so not a bad idea here by Cisse. A Tesla, obviously really good some kind of injury happening Oh, okay, you can continue. Something happened with his ankle. Unfortunate. Nice try, nice try. So same same idea here. Same fake motion, uses a fake motion again, tries for the punch. Um, my concern here is that a Tesla is adapting pretty quick. He's he's he sees one, he gets he he gets faked out and immediately has the cut kick for safety. Great, great adaptations here by Tesla. So if progression theory isn't really working, oh, that's, that looks like a bad injury. So if progression theory isn't really working, what you want to do instead is you want, because you want to be conditioning your opponent to some kind of response, right? So um, one of the things you can do in this situation is you can fake, and if you try and fake punch and you know that front leg's coming out, you don't really build on that right now because he's sitting on the counter. Maybe you come to that a little bit later. So you store that in the back of your mind. You change target, you change direction, you change depth of attack, you change um, target, you change foot whatever and you keep that in the back of your mind the next time you go for a punch um the because it, the the variables get randomized again it's a little bit later in the match maybe you wait till second round next time you go for a punch you should know already that that if you do a punch again that front leg is coming and that's where you want to build your progression so a tesla is adapting pretty quick if you if you get countered like the tesla is finding the counter right away on that progression so store that in your mind for later randomize it a little bit um use uh, change targets or change your foot or uh, you know change depth of attack etc make it look different then when you switch back to the punch you should already know that if you punch and catch him by surprise the next time you punch that front leg is coming so you should have the adaptation around that already like that should be pre-built into your plan um for those of you guys who are good enough to think in the match uh that's where you'd want to uh put your adjustment for those of you guys who are like me i'm not so good thinking in the match i have to handle all of my stuff during training that's a thing i would have to dur handle during training i would have to drill punch um, like a fake punch almost to bait the front leg and then counter off of that it depends on what stance you're using you can use your hand to swipe you can change that for um, if you use like a raining type punch initially then you can switch that into an axe kick because it's the same motion so uh, play to your strengths but that's how you get around someone who's using a progression against you is one you have to have a fast adapting defense if someone's quickly adapting against you then you need to randomize it again but store the data in the back and wait till you can um, exploit that later Fast adaptations here by Tesla. So if if Cisse were to have a counter ready against that front leg, a good time to have implemented it again. So here, right here's the break. Um, Cisse uses that fake, fake into the punch. Not a bad idea. Sees that front leg. Something that would have been really killer is on this. Oh, I think he's the reason he's bouncing like that is because it looks like that leg is injured. If he were to go right here on the timing reset, that would have been a really good time if he had a counter to that front leg. Because I, I, my assumption is that a Tesla might lift that front leg again. Granted, a Tesla is good, so it might go to the head. But against a player maybe not at the World or Grand Prix level, going right here on the timing reset with a punch would have been a really, really good opportunity to try and counter that that same defense. Um, a Tesla is kind of pressuring because he can see his foot's hurt. So... Saves him some time, lets him rest a little bit. Some guys go off when people are injured. I mean, I don't, I don't blame them. I personally didn't, um, unless I absolutely have to. You know, uh, I feel like I, I just like fighting people when they're at their maximum, because I like the idea of knowing I beat someone at their best. But I mean, I mean, if you're gonna win tournaments and grand prix and stuff, you gotta go whenever. So Tesla, okay, going for that punch again. Nice punch. Okay, so scratch everything I just said. You can just punch him twice, and um, it'll connect. Great. Uh, maybe he's just is he straight just blocking it? I guess he's just blocking or just taking the risk. Nice little adaptation there. Tesla's a little bit upset. 
Good job, though. It may be that he's not, you know, he may not be kicking. Punch may be the only option because his well, foot is injured. So maybe that's what he's playing around right now. He's. I'm just worried he's going to get back kicked. Nice try. Yeah, it seems like it seems like his right leg is really hurting. That's unfortunate. Just hold on, hold on for twelve seconds, man. Oh, the force out. The force out. That's unfortunate. I mean, how do you? That's really unfortunate. I think Tesla's gonna go for the, the point here. Nothing. No. Oh, nice try. That's really important. I almost don't want to watch the rest of this match because I can see a Tesla. Um, or CSA is quite injured. Yeah, I would. I, I feel like this is. That looks really bad, man. Um, so, really unfortunate. Really cool first match. Interesting to see CSA implementing the progression here. And um, just props to a Tesla for fast fast adaptations i mean i think granted at when, when we're watching smaller uh not as heavier like thin fly phantom feather weights it's a lot more front leg a little bit more dynamic as you move into the heavier weight to categories it kind of like game gets a little bit slower the game's a little bit more of a chess match because you're not quite as fast and actually no i'd say incorrect chess match is not a good analogy i'd say the game gets a little bit slower and there is a little bit more um thinking involved simply because you're not there's not as many actions there's not as much action so if you're not kicking you have a little bit more time to think that kind of a distinction so the the chess match uh kind of here is to me it was kind of interesting to see csa kind of building the progression off of his uh cut he almost had the round just based off punches so great job implementing those punches great job fighting while injured intensely Great, great adaptations defensively. Holy cow. So, so fast to adapt to getting punched. Um, not intimidated at all by uh, the aggression. Really, really good. Um, but, yeah, that was that was kind of interesting. Unfortunately, the CCA got injured here. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.